No, man, you're not the bus. No, no. Boom, man, you're not the bus. No, boom, man, no. Boom, man, no. What is up? It is Boom Hour, and there might be a little echo in here, and I'm sorry, but this is the only place I can do this build at. But today, in celebration of Halloween, like a week away, we're going to do a really cool build. I am a massive fan of Slender Man, mainly because, well, I have the same body figure and, well, I like the game. I've played the game a lot and I haven't got to see the movie yet. Oh, I want to go see the movie so bad. But today, we're going to make replicas of the eight sheets you have to collect while playing the game. If you've never played the game, you definitely should. The game is about collecting the eight sheets before Slender Man comes and gets you. But what I'm going to need for this build of course, I'm going to need some paper, and this is just sketch paper because it's a little bit thicker. I'm going to need some uh, wood stain, and I'm going to use this as a unique trick. I'm going to need a little bit of water, some paper towels, an old sock, a hair dryer, and some crayons. So yeah, let's get into it, shall we? So the first step I want to do is I want to age this paper. And I want to do a few test runs first before I just jump into doing all of them. And how I want to age this paper is I want to use this wood stain. So what I want to do, I'm going to do a few test runs first to make sure it's going to work like I want it to. But I'm going to dab. I can put the lid back on that. When you work with stain, you just have to get it on your hands. That's just part of the rules. But get a little bit on there. I want to just add some some old coloring to this, and it's going to take a few times to get it like I want it. So this one, like I said, was a test run, but I know how I want to do the rest of them. So, you see how that turned out? These dark spots, I do not like. But I like the rest of it of how it looks. So we're gonna do the, the other ones like that. That one's gonna be trash, that was a test run. Now you can see the paper that used to look like that now looks like that. And it's a lot darker aged paper. And that's what I'm looking for. This isn't supposed to be, you know, a, a perfect replica. I want to make my version of them. But I need to do the rest of the pages like that. I need to do eight of these. And it's drying really fast after this. So we may not need the blow dryer. But... That's exactly how I want this to look. That old look on the paper, that aged, kind of kind of burned, kind of been sitting in a house look. So the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to get the rest of the eight pages done. So um, you don't have to sit here and watch me just scrub on paper. <laughs> I'll get the rest of the eight pages done and then we'll come back and sit here and talk about the next step in the process, which will be copying each of the eight pages down. I have references on my phone, so let's get to it, shall we? So I have them all done. All eight pages are done. Each one is different in its own individual way. I love how they all look. Each one has a wonderful aged color to it. Some of them have blotches or water may have dripped on them. Depending upon just the story, of what that paper might have gone through is really fun to try to capture it. Each, each paper while you're aging it kind of speaks to you in its own little way of what it, you know, what it kind of went through in its storyline. And I really love how some of the edges are folding up from being wet. I really love that aspect as well. That fold up aspect like it is an old piece of paper. So the next step in the process is matching the color. And when I say matching the color, I'm talking about the design on each of the pages. And this is maybe a little bit challenging in some aspects because I have, I have references here on my phone to all of the pages. 
but I want to make sure I get the pages very close to being accurate because I don't want to mess any of it up. So I'm just going to start through the eight pages and kind of just sketch them out. And these are very rough sketches on the pages, but I want to make sure it's as close as I can possibly get them. So. down here so there's the first page that's done and I love how it turned out that is awesome that is so sick how these pages are turning out so that's how one of the pages is going to end up looking kind of fix the head a little bit that is how one of the pages is going to end up looking one of the eight oops one of the eight pages you have to collect while playing the Slenderman game that is absolutely sick. Oh, it turned out so awesome. Oh, this is awesome. All eight of the sheets are finally done. I'll go through all of them. I love all of them exactly. Oh man, this is so cool. They can't run. Found that one. Don't look or it will or it takes you. That's awesome. All oh, these are so cool. The help me and the aging on the back of them. Doing that, that little trick with the wood stain and rubbing it on the paper, giving it that age look, it really makes a massive difference. Always watches no eyes. So cool. These pages, these pages exceeded what I really thought they would be. Oh, the no, no, no. This is actually my favorite one of all of the pages. And I don't know why. I think it's because of the big slender man in the middle. Oh, it's so cool. Leave me alone with this, the, the rough drawing of the Slender Man on the side. The trees, this is the one of the four you saw me make at the beginning if I showed it in the video. And the follows, another one of my favorite pages of the eight. This is a fun little build, kind of prop making type of video. If you want to see more videos like this where I make little small things out of video games and out of movies and stuff like that, I love doing this type of stuff. I love making little props and knickknacks like this. This I'm actually going to save. I'm probably going to either somehow figure out how to hang them all up or something like that. Maybe go we'll get a big frame and put all of them up. I'll figure something out for these. This is so cool. I'm, I, I'm loving this. I'll probably do a close-up of all of them here in a minute. I'll actually, no. If you want to see a close-up of all of these, go check them out on my Instagram. I will leave a close-up of all of the pages on my Instagram. My Instagram is down below. Go check it out and see a close-up of all eight pages on there. It'll be up right now when you're watching this. I post on my Instagram the same time I post the video. So go check that out. Slenderman, the eight pages from the video game. What a build. It was fun. Happy Halloween, a week from today. Oh yes, be safe, have fun. I'm out of here. See ya, yo man dingo, bye.